to be able to take the cage off, turn the compost, and if the rabbits began to break down. Okay, looks like I have my first sign of bones. Good morning friends and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. It's hard to believe we are almost done with Vlogmas. Oh my goodness. Just a couple more days to go and we will be finished. It has been some really wet rainy days here lately and I am very thankful that those are past us and we can enjoy some sunshine. I think we got sunshine forecasted for the next week. It is already warming back up out here. We'll be in the 60s today. We'll be 70 on Christmas day. So I know that's a little weird to y'all Northerners, but I am so excited. My Southern blood is very thankful for the warm temperatures again. I'm about to check on our mama rabbits. See if we have any new baby rabbits. Peek in, make sure the other ones are still wiggling and they look fat. your food. I'm gonna sell this for just a second. I'm not... I see wiggly babies. I just need to see bellies. Oh yeah. Good. Plump bellies. Alright, I'm covering you back up. Such wiggly little babies. What is that, buckaroo? What is up, dude? Buck is looking good. Water for the compost. Well, friends, I just added more to my compost and I realized I moved my compost the other day and I never showed y'all. I filmed it, but I never showed it to y'all because it was the same day that our baby rabbits were born and I was so focused on that. The, the footage for the compost just never got edited. So let me go ahead and roll that clip for you so you can see what it was like for me to actually move the compost bin that we built and what I did and didn't like about the compost bin because there were a few things. Hey friends, Megan here. It's a little chilly outside right now and the sun's starting to go down, but it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, which means now is the perfect time for me to turn my compost. 
This will allow the rain to soak it for me, so we're not using any of our water to do this job. We're letting nature do it for us, which is our favorite way of doing things here on our homestead. If you do not know, we built this DIY compost bin on a Vlogmas video a couple videos back, and I'll link it down below and up here too. It is basically a welded wire cage, and we put all of our compost inside of it, and that includes all of the guts, heads, and everything from when we butchered our rabbits. So today we're gonna see how easy it is to be able to take the cage off, turn the compost, and if the rabbits began to break down. I will also be adding some more compost from our inside food storage, and we'll get this going. Now I add sticks on top of my compost bin to discourage animals from digging in it because we do have a lot of wild animals out here. We're in agricultural country. There's farmland all around us, which means animals are all around us as well. Now one thing about this compost bin, even though it's got animal waste products, a ton of food scraps and everything in it, it does not stink. That's because I add enough carbon in it to neutralize all those odors. Okay, so this over here is my garlic bed that I recently planted as well. We're gonna move the compost bin just one spot over and get this turned. Okay, so I was hoping to just be able to lift it up. <laughs> but it looks like where I shoved sticks into it, and it's holding it in place. Those out. And get that out. There we go. Oh, there we go. Finally got it loose. Yes. Okay, so not too bad removing it. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of our old cardboard and empty cardboard egg cartons and throw them on the bottom with some wood chips before we start throwing our old compost over there. Let's start turning compost and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, looks like I have my first sign of bones anywhere in this. So that's crazy that I've made it this far and that's the first time I've found of any bones. Yeah, I'm done playing this, buddy. That's far. Head on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in our scraps from today. I've got lots of eggshells from my pickled egg video. And then all of our kitchen waste I put in this container and I'll just pour it on. Now on top of that, I will add some more leaves around and the wood chips. And there we have it guys. I literally only found one set of bones and I couldn't even identify if they were rabbit or not. The rest, the skulls, the guts, the brains, all of that has already broke down. And that was only a couple weeks ago. 
I haven't turned it since because I really just want to give that a chance to break down pretty good before I turned it. The only issue I have with this compost bin is the holes in it are big enough that our eggshells will roll out sometimes. That's about it. But it has been really good. It's working really, really well for us. Hey, what you doing? I need a chainsaw. You got a chainsaw? So if you're looking to build an easy DIY compost bin that will take you like five minutes to put together and work really well, I highly recommend this one. The Vlogmas question of the day is, tell me one Christmas memory you have made so far this season. I have shared many of our Christmas moments and this season with y'all, but I want y'all to share something with me. Tell me one thing y'all have done this Christmas season, it doesn't have to be Christmas related, that has made memories with you or your family. Just let me know. All right, Declan, you ready to tell our friends bye? We like colors. You like colors? We like colors. What color are you got in your hand? Red. Red, you want to show him? He does, he has red leaves. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, friends. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see y'all in the morning.